We've been getting a lot of questions about how to use GeoShred to control the new SWAM iOS apps from Audio Modeling. We love everything that Audio Modeling does, and we've set up a special preset for controlling the SWAM iOS apps. This video will use the SWAM Trumpet app to show how, step by step, to control it using GeoShred from both Virtual MIDI and as an AUV3 plugin. First, let's look at how to use Virtual MIDI to use GeoShred to control the Swamp Trumpet. So here's the Swamp Trumpet app. Let's uh, take a look at a couple things that you want to set up. Under Menu, Settings, you'll want to go to Options and Enable Virtual MIDI Ports. So this is going to require you to restart the Trumpet app. So let's go ahead and restart it. After restarting the app, under MIDI, Presets, you'll want to select the Seaboard default. The Seaboard preset is very close to standard MPE MIDI, and it pairs well with GeoShred when GeoShred is using its own MPE MIDI configuration. Next, you'll want to start GeoShred. You need a minimum of GeoShred 5.890.1. In the set list, MIDI out, you'll find preset number 21, MIDI out iOS SWAM. That preset is set up to work with the iOS SWAM apps. Here are some of the features of the preset. So expression is now on key Y. If you are in finger expression mode and velocity is on key Y touch. And if you're on a phone, then velocity of course is directly, um, if you're on a phone with 3D touch, velocity is directly on the phone. You have um, pad expression. Just as you do with um, the other presets. We'll put it back in finger expression mode. And um, the, I put, for finger expression mode, I put flutter tongue as a separate uh, control. Let's take a look at how to do this in AUM using the AUV3 plugin. So I have GeoShred as one channel strip. I've got the Swam uh, trumpet as the other channel strip. Let's look at the Swam trumpet. And I've maximized the window. And under MIDI presets, I've chosen the uh, Seaboard default preset. And let's just call, go ahead and close that. And we'll go ahead and look here. There's GeoShred, and I'm going to go into finger expression mode. And if I want to do uh, pad expression mode, with a little flutter tongue. So that's how to use GeoShred to control the Swam Trumpet using the AUV3 plugin mechanism. We hope that you enjoy using GeoShred to control all of the new Swam iOS-based apps.